Hello everybody, my name is Master Rothfuss, and welcome to another part in our Predator Let's Play of Planet War. So when we last left off, we were just about done destroying the damn dirty Minotaur force from attacking our great and glorious capital of Mandibola. And afterwards, we were also staging an attack on the Ogres, but unfortunately we can't really see them. So we might actually just march over to their city and just take it by force, really. Instead of wait to see where their army is. All in all, things are looking pretty good. We do need a little bit more cash, but we'll get it as soon as we conquer a little bit more cities. Making 297 gold next turn, which is good. Anyway, let's end our turn and move on for the Death God. Death God shall be pleased with the sacrifices that we shall bring to his domain. Oh, that's another Minotaur ship. Oh, look, the Human Empire is moving up north. Is there a rebel settlement there, or are they just, like, moving there because of the, the sights and sounds? Okay, so we are moving back our navy to try and get rid of these minotaur dogs. It'll take a while, though. I don't know where the minotaurs are actually from. They might be from up north, but I'm not sure. Right now, I think we have enough forces to defend the city, but... We should really just, like, speed up our conquest of this rebel settlement now. And then afterwards, run back as soon as we can. Okay. Uh, it seems like the ogres are completely gone, so, you know what, take my force, get them out of Nazula, and, actually, you know what, let's leave behind a couple of spearmen. Yeah, we can leave behind this guy. And, yeah, everything else should be A-OK. -okay. We'll bring back this spearman, and then afterwards, this city will be completely fine. Alright, let's move down south. We rest here. We move down at once. We rest here. Okay, let's just bring this guy. No, no, no. Let's bring out... Ah, oh, this is my faction heir and this is my faction leader. Okay, so let's bring out this guy for a little bit. So that we could... Shit, I want to build a... A watchtower, actually, so I can see where the rebels are. Oh, well. We'll come back later, I guess. Okay, Minotaurs, what are you planning? Oh, nothing? Nothing at all? Yeah, you better hide, stupid pussies. Yeah. Mess with our with our great predator god. He'll get the horns. Your horns. Ha. Wow, the human empire doesn't like us. But I'm not sure why. We didn't really do anything to him. Oh, well. Because he can't really please everybody. He probably has indigestion. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, Mr. Scorpion, you know where to go. To Zolinga. Yeah, we're definitely attacking them. Mm, still nobody, no forces at all. That's crazy. Do we have enough gold now to uh, make Watchtower? Shit, we don't. Okay, let's pull, go back again. How long does it, how much uh, gold does it take us actually to build a watchtower? Probably a lot. Mm. Maybe like 600 or something like that. Alright, and our turn again. Not really much to do besides ending our turns over and over and over again. What is that naval force doing? You better not be taking my coconuts. If you do, I'm going to send the coconut crabs on you. And they'll kill your ass. Send you back to David Jones' locker. Oh, there's a couple of units in here, actually. Ooh. That is not good. That is not good, Sam. I am. That is not good. Sam, I am indeed. Alright, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to instead pull back some units and move them back to the capital because there are a few units here that could probably scare the bejesus out of me. You know what? Let's pull back two Glaive Warriors. That should be enough. In fact, two more Scorp Warriors as well. Okay, now we can attack. Good. Alright, so now we have to deal with one Krogon Force, Hell Slugs, Umber Hulks, and a couple of aliens. All around, just like the same um, deal we had in Darula, but instead, there's one more Alien Force. So that's okay. Dun 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 dun. Oh, we're attacking him. We're, we're, we're attacking this guy. 
Don't worry, far, far away land? Yeah, they're about to be sent far, far away indeed. Far, far away to hell. Oh, look, there's their army. It consists of one unit. Yes, Okay, that's legit. That's as, that's as legit of an army as you can have, I guess. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Hostilities cease. Schneid, Vineland, and the Human Empire. Okay. There's still a couple of... Oh, where did his units go? He had units in this navy. Okay, I'm not trusting anything. We're putting these guys in here. Then we're going to wait our asses for our navy to come around and try to kill his ships. You son of a bitch! How did I miss you? Okay, pull back. Pull back. We need to we need to fight this ogre force now. Holy crap, Shrek is love, Shrek is life indeed. He was able to bypass us. Oh, the great god king himself, Shrek, has led his troops to sneak attack on our shoreline. No, no, he shall never, shall never do this. He shall never conquer Nizula. Okay, let's just attack Pradula now. Okay, 15 to 4. Good enough. Listen, I'm, I ain't auto resolving. I came, I saw, and I conquered. I guess the bronchiosauruses are kind of like modeled after, after like mum kills. Almost said mammoths, but no, mum kills definitely because they're way bigger. I wonder how much bigger a mum kill is to a mammoth. I gotta really look that up. If only Mooma kills were like an actual like existing animal in real life, that would be the coolest thing ever. Imagine just like an entire force of Mooma kill attacking cities of human defenders. That would change the course of history. I mean, I mean, warfare would change completely. Why build a tank? Why not build? Why not tame a Mooma kill? All right, so you know what? We have a good force right now. We have everybody set up. Everybody's good to go. Oh, whoops. That seems about right. We'll have the two cav units grouped up into one massive group, and then afterwards, it should be all good and dandy. Anyway, let's ram them. Yes, retreat back, retreat back, you little sissies. <laughs> Look at these aliens just get propelled up into the stratosphere. It's insane. All right, move forward, my Scorp Warriors. Yeah, you know what to do. We'll move our Cav a little bit closer onto the battlefield. Are these just aliens? No, they're Uber Hulks and they're... That's it, actually. Nope, no, no. So, it's just Uber Hulks and aliens. Okay. Oh, no, 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 there's also hell slugs. Okay, so there's hell slugs, aliens, uber hulks. Everybody's waiting for us except for the Krogans, which are in the middle of the city. You know, if you zoom out, it looks like little humans, but then when you zoom in, you get these monstrosities. Oh god, it's, it's really crazy, actually. Actually, you know what? Guys, guys, guys. Fire your spears at this group of units. The house slugs. Yeah, go go ahead and do that. Come on, spear throwers. Get into position. Yeah, you got that. You got that. Maybe we need a legitimate formation for you. Why do I have all my cavalry units in like this circle jerk? Our warriors are ready to bring down our foes' gates. Let's pull them back a little bit. Yeah, good. That's really good. Alright, 50%. Oh, the Krogans are coming to the gate. Holy shit. So we have the whole smorgasbord fighting against us now. Okay, just focus on the Uber Hulks. Well, not the Uber Hulks, the, um, the House Lugs. 
All right, here comes the fuzz. Our warriors have done well. Our foes can no longer hide in their homes. Yes, they can no longer hide. Now, it begins. Who's going to move out first? Me or them? Oh, I guess they're running away. Ah, you pansies. You dirty pansies. You can run, but you cannot hide. Let's send in my warriors now. Charge! Oh, Krogan's. Attack the Kogan forces. Go, 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 go. We will send them and Shrek to Davy Jones's locker. We will soon sing of victory. Heck, you know what? So, so fire some spears at them. Ooh, they're gonna beat us. Actually, I'm gonna have to move a little bit uh, more into this, um, this formation that they have going on. I gotta move up my glaive warriors to the front, and I gotta move my. Uh, Scorp Spearman a little bit closer to the alien formation and away from the Krogan formation so that the Glaive Warriors have a shot at killing these uh, Krogans. Our foes were fools to raise their fists against Holy us. crap, they're kicking our asses. We need the Glaive Warriors here now. Okay, now that we're a little bit uh, more into this formation that they had going on, we, our Scorp Spearmen are dealing with the Rebels that are aliens, which is good. And then our Glaive Warriors are about to deal with the Krogans that are also Rebels. That will basically annihilate this entire force. Because they have, I think, what, 20? No, no, 18 attack damage. So they're pretty darn good. Spearmen, however, are not doing so well because they only have, I think, 12 attack damage. Their armor isn't that good either. I'd love to bring up my cab, but I can't. They're just, they're just squished in here, you know? Like, they can't really do anything because there's this whole giant traffic jam blocking their way. Look how the Krogans fight. It's as if they're just, like, hopping around and jumping on top of my Scorp Warriors like Mario on top of Goombas. It's, it's crazy. Thank God our Glaive Warriors are in this mix. Yeah, they're doing the they're doing the work. The Lord's work. Okay, how many forces do they have left? They have a couple of aliens, Uber Hulks, and Hell Slugs. Hell Slugs are gonna be the most deadly. Now once I'm done with the Krogans, I'm gonna set it up so that the Glaive Warriors are at the front and everybody else is at the back. Cause we need these guys at the front so that they can deal with the Damn dirty hell slugs really really fast early on. Where's Shrek by the way? Where the F is Shrek? Shrek is part of the Krogan forces, right? Or is he part of the something else forces? Ah oh, nope, I found Shrek. Yep, there's Shrek. Right in there. Well, let me let me get a close up view. Oh, wait, actually that could just be some dude. Can't really tell. Yeah, that's probably just some dude. Definitely not Shrek. I didn't see the ears and the the eye color that indicates it. The fact that this Kogan is still alive scares the the crap out of me. It's crazy. Like, what is he made out of? Good God! I know these guys are badasses in Mass Effect, but come on now. Come on. Ah, there we go. There we go. So they're about to rout, or... They're just going to be a lot easier to deal with. There's only two guys left. There's that guy, and then there's another one. Where's the, where's the other one? Fuck. How the fuck did you get all the way out there? How was this done? Like, I'm legitimately surprised by how you were able to phase through all my guys or teleport in. <laughs> what? What are my units? Bowling ball pins? For God's sake, stop him! Stop the Krogan! What are you doing? You fools! 
You're letting him go. What was that? He just like phased through all my units. He's like Neo from the fucking Matrix. He uses his like superpowers and then just like does anything he wants. What's going on? Or maybe he's like that blue guy in X-Men who can just teleport anywhere he wants. Oh my god. Here come the fuzz. Okay, Glaive Warriors get to the front. Hiya! 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 Now the music, the music right now for the Scorp is just insane. Okay, let's have our cab go to the flanks. Continue having our Glaive Warriors move forward a little bit more is the best thing we can do. Just to enhance our chances of winning. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's bring these guys all the way around. You guys are already going all the way around. That's good. Da 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 Yeah, as soon as these guys are in position, we're going to go ahead and attack. What are you doing? you go around like this you know like all the way here right next to this last krogan the last krogan in the entire military brigade you know just right next to him and the alien force of course i wonder how he lives with himself knowing that he retreated from the battlefield i guess he's doing fine so many aliens that's a problem right now it'll decimate my calf so I have to be a little bit careful. You know what? Kill the Krogan. Kill that damn Krogan. Guys, attack the Krogan, please. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Deal with the Krogan. Don't alert the, the aliens, okay? Because that would be really, really, really bad news bears. Alright, let's send in my forces now to deal with his infantry. While he's distracted. CHARGE! Okay, so the Krogan should die soon, which is good. He's only one guy. He's not God, contrary to popular belief. What? How did the Scorp Warriors get ahead of my Glaive Warriors? Dude, can you, can you withdraw? Just, just withdraw, Scorp Warriors. You're useless. Yeah, now we're letting real men deal with this. We're out of real aliens. Oh, shit. Okay, this is something I didn't want. I don't want to get entirely raped by these alien forces. Let's pull back, and let's see, there's still more aliens. Yikes, that's the problem. We need to funnel in through this massive hole, but we won't be able to do that with so many uber hulks. I want to go around with my infantry, but that would take way too long. Whatever, at least we killed the Krogans. What is this, a little boogie-woogie dance? What's going on here? Look at them, they're just running in pace. Looking at this mat and this awesome building. They're like they're like, oh look at the, the fire pit and the pot. It's a good two-story house. I wonder what predator houses actually look like. I remember an AVP that had like this whole like 
cool like little alien futuristic vibe going for them they look like giant towers on top of towers with tropical jungles around the um the area but i'm not sure if that's canon or not to be honest i always imagined predators living in rvs or something like that you know they're, they're tired from their little hunt so they sleep in an rv but they but they continue to drive around in it you know they take shifts so that they can get to one hunt to another really really fast and easily Okay, one time's over, come on. Stop running, please, ladies. Was that a dog? Did I hear the do a dog in a soundtrack? Are you serious? Good guy, this, good, good guy, this guy has his own dog as a soundtrack. That's crazy. I know for a fact that wasn't my dog. My dog barks like the devil, taking a shit. No, oh, by the way, you can you can stop retreating now. Yeah, and come come back to the battle. You don't need to go all the way back to your mom's vagina, please. Okay, so we're still waiting for this to be over. Whoa! 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 Okay, this is what I get for speeding that this up. I shouldn't have spe I sped this whole thing up. All right, retreat. Retreat away from the hell slugs. In fact, heck, let the hell slugs chase you down, actually. That's a good idea. Get them away from the battlefield as much as you can. You know what? We could do a little bit of a flanking attack now, in my opinion. Yeah, with our cab, we could definitely do it. Hell slugs have pushed our cab all the way back, and. There's still a massive battle going on? Yes, there is. Yeah, Glade Warriors, go! You go, girls! Now, our little flank attack should help out. Yeah, they better. Whoa! Where the hell did you guys come from? Well, there's gonna be a super flank, I guess. Oh, and they're gonna get epically raped by these house slugs, so let's pull them back right now. Oh, this battle is messy. This battle is messy as hell. I'm not sure where these guys came out of. I told them to pull back all the way there. I guess they didn't want to listen. I don't know. Oh, well, their their choice essentially. So many aliens to kill. So little time. Okay, stop. Stop, we don't need you guys to die as well. We can't have too much cab die in this battle. That would be really, really, really bad. Okay, the alien spearmen are almost done. You know what? I think now we can focus all of our attention on killing the Uber Hulks. I mean, not the Uber Hulks, the uh, Hell Slugs now. Which one of our leaders is the... The Faction Air? Or do we not have the Faction Air here? I don't think we do. Oh no, he's on the other island, okay. So what we could do actually is pull back. Oh come on, choppy, choppy, slicey, slicey. I'm not gonna say that this battle was a complete failure and a fuck up, but you know what? It's I, I definitely lost more troops than I wanted to. Yeah, let's just retreat our cav back. Get our cav out of there. Oh god, they're chasing after my cav. That's crazy. Run! Run! The house slugs are coming! The house slugs are coming! Here, you want a cav force to deal with? You can deal with these guys. Yeah, this 69 force should be able to deal with them. <laughs> 69. We'll have our forces over here clean up some of these Uber Hulks and these alien forces. 
which is good. What I mean by aliens, I mean by these little fucking acid spewing dildo monsters, not the badass mandible, mandible type guys that we have going on right now. They're just they they just moving through our our ranks like bowl, like bowling ball pins. It's, it's crazy. They don't they don't have any care in the world for any of our units. Look at them, just just decimating them by just running them over. It's crazy. And now all my units have routed because these hell slugs. Fuck these hell slugs. Just kill them all. Yeah, turn them into escargo. Good job. Good job. Good god, they still have 13 uber, uber hulks? That's crazy. Here, let's try to kill them off really fast. Have all my units take part in the battle. And speed it up to like six times. Wow, Uber Hulks, they're really, really, really meaty. It's crazy. Holy crap, how much armor do they have? Good god, that's crazy. Oh well, we won the battle, that's good. Nice, the last rebel settlement is conquered, so we have full control of this island, which is good. Uh, just walk in. They they worship pyramidism, right? Do they? Yes, they do. Okay, so just walk in, I guess. Go the city out. Ooh, four score pounds. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what? We don't have to do growth build policy for all of our cities. We can do it for, like, the newer cities and we can have majority of our cities going to normal build policy actually or normal growth policy wow all of them are the same except for growth which drastically reduces my income so let's just have balance for now because the city is already big enough as is it's cities like perdula and dar hula that need to grow out a little bit Alright, so I'm going to end this part off here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Woohoo!